Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to today's uh, lesson. Yes, in today's lesson, we are going to uh, study a very important uh, subject. They are uh, alternative expressions for a conditional uh, if clause. Yes. Uh, of course, uh, they are very important. In fact, uh, in the uh, successive two videos, uh, including this one, uh, we are going to study those uh, diverse ways of uh, if clause. Of course, as you know, there are beautiful sayings about diversity. Yes, diversity is the spice of life, for example. And uh, diversity uh, gives us strength. Yes, I think in every, in every field of life, there is diversity. Diversity of things, diversity of cultures, diversity of species, etc. It's a diverse, diversity of jobs, diversity of experiences, etc. etc. So diverse diversity or diversity, sorry, diverse in adjective form, but diversity, diversity in noun form. So uh, diversity uh, is really uh, the fact of life. So the wealthy of life, the richness of language, for example, there are, I think, 17, 17 alternative uh, expressions of if clause. Yes, this is really a diversity of conjunctions. Okay, diversity of if conjunction. Okay, hello and welcome back. Let's uh, focus our subject and see what they are. What uh, those, what those diverse ways of saying if in English. Okay, yes, as a starter, as an attention pointer, let's focus on this page. What does it say? As you know, there is an image and a GIF. They are really important. This is, I think, all about uh, producing something. Yes, input and output, for example. This is a noun, and of course we can use it both as a noun and verb. Listening is input, yes. So uh, what is the output? Speaking is output. What does it mean? Yes, if you, okay, if you listen to uh, something about a subject, about a topic, then you can uh, talk about, you can talk about that subject easily. You can speak, uh, you can speak about that subject. And reading, for example, is input and writing is output. If you read a lot of stories, uh, by means of uh, or uh, by by inspiration from those stories, you can write your original story. So your original story is the output. Of course, there is a process in between between input and output. There is the process. There is the procedure steps of uh, doing that thing. Yes, there are steps of. Uh, that product, okay. Okay, listening and reading are inputs. Speaking and writing are outputs. What happens if you input or if you enter necessary uh, or unnecessary things? Of course, if you input uh, necessary information, necessary things, you can get uh, necessary output. This is a fact again. This is a reality. So, 
uh, if you listen and read, you will you will speak and write better. Now, trip seven, other 17 expressions. Do you see the diversity here? Yes, 17. It is really richness. It is really uh, wealthy of English. Maybe it is like this in all languages. Yes, 17 expressions as alternative to conjunction if. So we can say shortly other ifs. Okay, of course. Uh, there is a nuance between unless uh, and if, for example, uh, although, although uh, they are similar to each other, they are uh, also specific each. Okay, yes. For example, let's start with the alternative expression, unless, alternative word, unless, Alternative for if. Okay. Dialogue one. A. Uh, unless you focus. What does it mean? Uh, unless means if not. Unless you focus means if you don't focus. If you do not focus. If you do not concentrate. Okay. Unless you focus your attention on listening, you won't understand the subject or the issue. So... Listening is again input, and listening goes on and on, then you understand, you uh, get the message, and you figure it, figure out the message. Okay. Okay, all right. What will happen unless you concentrate on reading something? Of course, unless you concentrate on reading, you will not write something. Or you cannot write something. You may not write something useful. Again, I hope these are also uh, useful for you. Okay. Uh, for example, the gift says, you will never know unless you try. Yes. It means... If you try something, you will know something about that thing. Okay. So I wrote this. You won't find the job, for example, you won't find the job unless you look for it. Yes, unless you look for it. Means if you do not look for that job. So you should uh, spend an effort. You should try, okay, you should try, you should do, you should perform, you should apply, implement something to own it, to acquire it. Okay, dialogue one, A. Yasin can't start his own business unless he is determined and hopeful. So, well, I immediately remember on the condition that, for example, uh, Yasin can start his own business on the condition that he is determined and hopeful. Yes, if he is, if he is determined and hopeful. So the opposite of it, Yasin can't start his own business unless he is determined and hopeful. Unless means here, as you know, if he is not determined and hopeful. Who cannot find or get a job unless he is proficient and courteous? Uh, Musa cannot get a job unless he is proficient and courteous. So uh, he both needs proficiency and, uh, and uh, courtesy. Yes, proficiency and courtesy. Ability and virtue should. They work along with each other. They function along with each other. They support each other mutually. Okay. 
to dialog to unless Nermin's father tells her. What does it mean? It means if yes, yes, we you know, I am sure that you know it very well. If Nermin's father doesn't tell her, yes. So unless Nermin's father tells her, she won't remember to compile family photographs. Who can't avoid overspending unless his or her mother tells them? Uh, Neriman can't avoid overspending unless her mother tells her. Dialogue three, unless you spend, okay? If you don't spend, it means immediately, if you don't spend, unless you spend your exact, uh, existing money, you won't earn the non-existent money. Yes, yeah, this is a maybe an economic, uh, economical or economic. Which one? Economic, economical, economical, connected with related to economy. Yes, yeah, this is a principle standard. Uh, economic uh, connected with economy, economical, economical uh, standard or principle. Unless you spend your existing money, you won't earn the non-existent money. What will happen unless you buy something to sell, for example? Unless you buy something to sell, you will never sell something. This is also a fact about economy. Okay. Now, a gift. Garage, uh, garage sale. Yeah, it's, this is very famous in the USA. Garage sale. It is really, uh, it is really useful and very good. So you you uh, you are you are able to sell your second hand uh, goods, and or, or the opposite is also true. You are able to find uh, second hand goods uh, cheaper. Okay. So everything here is on sale with a little money and for sale. Sorry, on sale and for sale. Yes, yes, on sale means with a little money for sale. We want to sell them to whoever wants. You can buy them because they are for sale. Okay, now again about unless uh, the gift says unless it is covered in peanut butter what does it mean if it is not covered yes on the condition that it is covered yeah unless it is covered in peanut butter i cannot eat it for example what is it yes i i wrote this one uh, when, uh, when can't you eat a piece of chocolate i can't eat i can't eat a piece of chocolate unless it is covered in peanut butter or almond butter. They are really, uh, they are very popular peanut butter product and all uh, almond uh, butter product are popular in the USA, especially uh, with children. Okay, now Roman number two. After unless, let's focus on uh, on condition that or on the condition that both variation, uh, both uh, variation variations are uh, possible or only if. Yeah, only if, not if only. Okay, as you know, we studied clearly and comprehensively. If only means I wish, but it isn't, it is different here. Only if, and we feel uh, a little bit uh, stress here. Yes, em emphasis here, okay. For example, Fatih has lent me this car on condition that I turn it back at nine o'clock today. You know, let's read it with only if. Fatih has lent me this car only if I turn it back at nine o'clock today. Do you see the difference between only if and just if? Let's uh, read it once more with uh, just if. Fatih has lent me this car if I turn it back at nine o'clock today. Yes, this is all, uh, all three are uh, 
a hundred percent true, but uh, only if only if I turn it back at nine o'clock today. So uh, this uh, this variation or this alternative way emphasizes the message. Okay, gives importance to okay, or stresses the importance of the message. On condition that, uh, on condition, what has Yakub lent his bicycle to you? Yakub has lent his bicycle to me on condition that I use it carefully and attentively. Okay. Now the gift says, on the condition that you listen to my tale. Yeah, this is uh, her condition. On the condition that you listen to my uh, tale. This is the answer of this question. How can I join the meeting? How can I join your meeting? You can join my meeting on the condition that you listen to my tale from the very beginning to the end, to the very end. Yes. Okay. Five, uh, you can join the meeting on condition that you don't ask more than three questions. Yeah, these are the principles of the meeting. Who can join the meeting on no condition? Uh, the professor, the professor can join the meeting on no condition. This is also another expression, a, a beautiful expression. Okay, dialogue six. Mr. Miles will ask them 10 questions on condition that they answer them in 15 minutes. Okay, this is the condition. Who claims to answer all of them on the condition that Mr. Miles give them, give, gives them 20 minutes uh, for students in the group or of the group uh, claim to answer all of them on condition that Mr. Miles gives them 20 minutes. Now, rule number two. Yes, we are proceeding with our uh, alternative expressions of if, uh, if connector. This is provided that is kind of connector. This is also a connector provided that. Dialogue seven, we can enter the museum provided that we buy tickets. Okay, how can we enter the mosque? Uh, you can enter the mosque on, you say provided that, provided that you take off your shoes. Yes, providing that these are really practical. Okay, the fourth one is, Providing that or provided that or if, okay, or on the condition that or uh, only if, okay, only if. Of course, the children can enter. Of course, the children are permitted into the library, providing that they are quiet. If they are quiet, only if they are quiet. Provided that they are quiet or uh, on the condition that they are quiet. When can children play in the playground? They can play in the uh, playground providing that they have two balls. Provided that they have two balls. Okay. Now the fifth one. Only if yes or on the condition that, okay. Black can go shopping only if, okay, again, let me remind you, please work on those two expressions, only if and if only, okay? If only means I wish, uh, okay. Uh, for example, I wish I were a doctor now means uh, if only I were a doctor now, okay. No, but this is not uh, if only, this is only if, only if. Okay. 
Greg can go shopping only for parents go. When can Nuray do experiments? Nuray can do experiments only if his teacher helps, her teacher helps her. Okay, here is another if. Yes, it's about identity card. Uh, let's say that, oh, this is really useful. Yes, let's say that. It also means provided that, yes, imagine that, providing that you lose your identity card, what will you do? Yes, but this is the most practical one. Let's say that. Do you see the, do you feel the that close here? Yes. Let's say that you lose your identity card. What will you do? Yes. Now, suppose that, yes, let's say that. Let's take a look at the ninth point, please. Let's say that, I mean, imagine that, imagine that. You lose your identity card. What will you do? Okay. Or well, suppose that. Suppose that you lose your identity card, what will you do? Suppose that you lost your identity card, what would you do? Do you remember the second type? We, we have studied them comprehensively in detail. Yes, just like saying, if you lost your identity card now, what would you do now? Yeah, so instead of saying if, suppose that. Suppose that you lost your identity card, what would you do now? If hypothetical situation about the present and future or tomorrow, what would you do tomorrow? Okay. Third one, suppose that you had lost your identity card. You didn't uh, lose your identity card yesterday, but suppose that you had lost your identity card yesterday, what would you have done? Okay, so the uh, first one is about the first type of if clause. The second point is about the second type of if clause. And third one is about the third type of if clause. But uh, with an alternative, alternative uh, expression of if connector conjunction. What about the fourth one? Suppose that the sun didn't rise, about the second type of if clause, for example. Suppose that the sun didn't rise once, what would you do? Yeah, or well, suppose that the sun didn't uh, rise, didn't rise this morning, what would you do? Yeah, suppose that you hadn't, about third type. Suppose that, suppose that you hadn't met your father abroad last September, what would you have done? Yeah, sixth one, uh, what will you do? Suppose that, suppose that, supposing that, in assuming that, or assume that you receive a present today. What will you do? Yeah, first type of if clause. What will you do? It means, what will you do if you receive a present today? Of course, uh, uh, all of them gives almost the same message, but there are nuances, okay? There are nuances, and as I said, this is the wealth. This is the wealth of English. This is the wealth of uh, language, okay? Of course, there are nuances uh, among them uh, because uh, if uh, if they but if weren't different, for example, if they weren't different, they wouldn't exist. We wouldn't have that kind of expressions. So they are also specific. Yes, each of them is specific and special. For example, seventh one. What would you do? Uh, what would you do? Suppose that you received a present now. Okay? Yes. Suppose that you received a present. Now, what would you do? Eight, what would you have done? Suppose that, supposing that, suppose that you had received a present yesterday. Okay, the ninth one. Let's say that. Let's imagine that you lose your identity card. What will you do? 
So this is also practical, just saying, what if? What if, okay. What if you lose, what if you lose your identity card, okay? We don't say the if clause uh, completely, we just say the main clause in the complete form, so we understand uh, the uh, what if clause is about, or the we understand the structure of the if clause, the type of the if clause from the main clause. For example, what if you lose your identity card? So it is either zero type or first type. What if you lose your identity card? Okay. What if you lost your identity card now, for example? So we understand that it's uh, it is it is the second type of if clause. What if? What if? What if you lost your identity card? So this is the economical economical way of uh, using uh, a sentence. Okay. What about the third? What if you had lost your identity card yesterday? It is clear that this uh, is about the third type of clause. What if you had lost your identity card yesterday? Uh, I would, for example, I would look for it. I would look for, for it in my room, first of all, if I had lost my identity card yesterday. Okay, fourth one. What if the sun didn't rise once? Yes, what if the sun didn't rise once? But thank God, sun rises. Okay, sun rises every morning this is a fact this is a reality maybe just uh, we can uh, think about it just to guess to appreciate the value of the sun we can say what if the sun didn't rise once yeah the fifth one what if you hadn't met what if you hadn't met your father abroad last september Six, what if you receive, what if, what if you receive a present today? If you, uh, if, if I receive a present today, uh, I will be happy. Yes, I will be happy. First type, if close. What if you received a present now? Second type, I would be happy if I received a present now. What if you had received a present yesterday? So I would have been. I would have been very happy if I had received a present yesterday. What if, or let's say that, imagine that you lost your car. What will you do? Yeah, what will you do? Imagine that you lost your identity card. What if you, uh, what if you lose your identity card? Means what will you do? Okay, I will uh, look for it in my room, in my, in my wallet. First of all, in the first place. Okay, uh, Roman number uh, 6C. What if? Question, word, question. Uh, what if? Yes, it is. Uh, we can consider it uh, just like a question word together. What if? What if? Yes. What if they don't promote you next week? What if they don't promote you next week? It is clear that. It's about uh, the first type of if clause. Uh, or in the passive world, what if you are not promoted? Yes, what if? What if here means what will you do? Yeah, what will you do if you are not promoted? But we don't use what will you do? What if is enough? What if they don't promote you next, next month? <coughs> <coughs> Let's take a close look at uh, the first question again. Although there is question mark, is it a is it a question sentence? No, we don't see a helping word, an auxiliary word that uh, makes the question. It is, for example, what if they don't promote you next month? Question mark. In fact, it isn't a question sentence, but uh, left, uh, as I said, we take what if 
as a question word itself. Okay. What if they don't promote you next month? Means what will you do? Yeah. What if means what will you do? We can write it here. What if means what will you do? This is this. Second one. What if they didn't promote you? What if they didn't promote you this month? Yeah. But here, what if means what would you do? What would you do? Okay. What would you, instead of saying what would you do? What if is enough to use English economically? Okay. What if they didn't promote you this month? Now, what about the third one? And remember it, okay, uh, at the same time, I remember the third type if closed. What if they hadn't promoted you last month? Yes, here it is very clear that what would you have done? What would you have done? if uh, they hadn't promoted you last month, but there is no need to say what would you have done. What if is enough? What if they hadn't promoted you last month? Here is the image also important. What to do? Yeah, what to do? This is also the, another uh, much economical way of using English. What to do? Yeah, when you didn't get promoted, but what does the gift say? The gift says, I got promoted. Don't worry. Yeah, I got promoted and I am happy with my uh, situation, position, with my job. Yes, I got promoted. Okay. okay, now Roman number seven. Suppose that. Yes. Or supposing that. While I am walking on the street, suppose that I find a wallet, I won't take it. Yes, I won't take it. What will you do? Suppose that uh, I I find a wallet while I am walking, I, uh, I won't take it either. Okay. Suppose that you have you have a money problem. You have a problem, you have a money problem. What will you do? Uh, suppose that I have a, a money problem. Uh, I will, I will, uh, I will ask for, I will ask, uh, ask my father for it. Uh, the eight. One, yeah, the eight uh, alternative expression for if connector conjunction. Supposing that, okay, supposing that I have lots of uh, lots of money, do you want me to help someone buy a house or a car? Yes, supposing that you have lots of money, I want you to help someone buy a house. Okay, first of all. Supposing that there is an organization for a clean environment, how will you contribute to them? Yes, uh, supposing that there is an organization for a clean environment, I will contribute to them by, uh, by granting my time, by giving my time, yes. Now the ninth one, assume that, okay, assume that, uh, you know, uh, 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 to assume and to suppose uh, are really close to each other, but of course uh, there is a nuance uh, between them, between assume and suppose, because they are also independent, uh, independent and specific verbs. Okay. Assume that I am responsible for a test. I will prepare a test a uh, hundred, a hundred percent on the environmental awareness. Assume that you are responsible for a test. What type of test will you prepare? Uh, I will prepare uh, a test a hundred percent on diversities, diversities in our world. Now the tenth one, so we have seven more, 
okay? Uh, assuming that, assuming that I travel all around the world, I will try to take beautiful photos. Assuming that you travel all around the world, what will you do? Uh, I will make videos about the uh, interesting uh, places of interesting uh, interesting places uh, that I see that I visit. Okay, the eleventh uh, one. This is also very useful. I advise you to look it up in the dictionary as a. Uh, phrase of course expression as long as yes for example we can easily if you look it up in the dictionary you will uh, definitely see that uh, see the difference between if and as long although we can put if here for example let's read it with if I can improve my English if I listen to English videos yeah <clears throat> isn't it true it's certainly true. It's absolutely true. True. I can improve my English if I listen to English videos. But let's try to see the difference now. I can improve my English as long as, as long as I listen to English videos. Yeah. So, uh, condition plus we see we see another uh, condition uh, uh, in addition to the first condition. We also see a, a continuity here. So uh, let me read it again. I can improve my English as long as I listen to uh, English videos. If I listen to English videos and if I go on if I continue listening to English videos, there are something like this, <coughs> a message uh, which is like this. How can you improve your English? I can improve English as long as I read. As long as I read uh, stories in English, starting uh, from the simplified stories. Now, uh, yeah, as long as, what does the gift say? Just as long as I never have no in my heart. So, yes, we can produce, we can imagine uh, some, we can suppose, we can assume something in our memory. For example, I can be generous, okay? I can donate, I can donate. Uh, just as long as I never have no in my heart. So uh, if a needy person wants something uh, from me, for example, uh, because there is no in my heart, I always say yes. For example, say, can you help me? Can you uh, give me your time? Can, can you give me your time? Your, can, can you give me some money? So I can say yes, if there is on the condition that there is no in my heart. Guess what did I write here? As long as we are wise, there is no, sorry. As long as we are wise, there is the justice for each of us. Yes, because being wise requires justice or leads to, leads to justice, wisdom, so before uh, justice, there should be wisdom. Now, a poem like, a poem like sentences here, but let's pay attention to if we pray. As long as we are wise, yeah, okay. Okay, rain in vain. Let us focus on rain. Let us concentrate on rain. Think about rain in vain. Let's be free from our all worries, including drought and flood, and just think of being sane. If we pray during the rain, our efforts will never end in vain. Peace and justice and harmony and truth always prevail. When it comes to being hopeful, diligent, determined, and confident, 
Let's follow our heart along with our brain without neglecting uh, neither of them. As long as we are wise, virtuous, and fair and brave, we know what to sustain and from what to refrain. Let it be our aim that well-being covers everywhere, like the falling snow and rain in vain. Now, the uh, 10, 11, 12, the 12th one, so we have five more. So long as, as long as, or so long as, yes. Of course, they look the same, 100%, same, but we cannot say 100%, maybe 95%, uh, they are the same. As long as and so long as. We will be successful in trade or commerce, so long as we are brave, yes. So, uh, commerce requires brave courage, they say. How can we maintain a good standard of commercial managing? We can maintain a good standard of commercial managing as so long as, or as long as, so long as we are we are diligent, we are trustworthy, reliable. Okay, here dialogue 16a. Sally can let me, Sally can let me drive the car so long as I am careful. Yes, I drive it carefully. Oh, so long, so long as I drive it carefully. When can Sally let you use his computer? Yes, Sally can let. Uh, let me use this computer so long as uh, so long as I use it carefully. Okay, now quiz time. So the rest uh, five expressions will be studied uh, just after this video. Okay, now let's study it from the key. So key quiz, tour two, trip seven. Please choose the correct alternative. Question one. Tony won't send, Tony won't send Silly even a postcard blank. She writes him. He never writes uh, without receiving a letter or a postcard. This is uh, his habit. So Tony won't send Silly even a postcard unless she writes him. Second question, blank we meet in your hometown, will you invite us for dinner? So suppose we meet in your hometown. We don't use address, okay, less or so long as. Okay. Suppose we meet in your hometown, will you invite us for dinner? Yes, I will invite you for dinner. Suppose that we meet in my hometown. The third question, the national team can win the cup blank, the players keep his invaluable advice. Mm. Providing that, not unless. Okay. Fourth one, you have to fix an alarm kit. You have to fix an alarm kit blank. Uh, yes, in case, in case thieves try to break into your office. Five passengers have to go to the lost property, property desk or office uh, if they lose anything at the airport. Now, vocabulary. It's time to uh, increase, to enrich our vocabulary. Counter to as an adjective means, or as a verb, a contrary to or against, opposite of, contrasted with, or opposed to, or adverse. Your approach seems counter to, contrary to my approach, or against my, against my approach. Does your aim seem counter or similar to my aim? Yes, this time your aim uh, doesn't seem counter to 
my aim, but your aim seems similar to my aim. Yes. What does did you say? More than one way. Yeah, there are uh, more than one way. There are ways more than one. Okay. Sedate as an adjective means calm, serious, and formal. Moving slowly and calmly. Sedate as a word, anesthetize, tranquilize. Be sedated means be calm. Yes. Be sedated by someone, passive form. Sedated patient, for example. Yeah, the seaside was sedate, adjective. Uh, was sedate to enjoy the day. Adjective to do. The seaside was sedate to enjoy the day. What was the riverside like? The riverside, the riverside uh, was also sedate to enjoy and to take pictures. For see as a verb, for see, for so, for seen. Make prediction about. William foresees that the world will refine itself with the help of proficient, confident, coherent, and righteous individuals. How does Parker foresee the future of the world? Parker also sees, uh, also sees uh, the future of the world positive. Parker also sees that the future of the world uh, will uh, will uh, develop will develop positively. How do you foresee it? I foresee uh, it that uh, people will be aware of the importance of the environment. Which of you has got an optimistic? Which of you has got an optimistic or a pessimistic or a realistic perspective? Uh, each of us or has got, or all of us have got a realistic perspective, not an optimistic one, not a pessimistic one, but a realistic one. Okay, the joke. What is the difference between that? I don't know. Well, let's try to uh, see them together. Yeah, no kidding. The gift says, yeah, no kidding. No joke. Also, because yeah, no joke. No kidding. Uh, no joke like that. The second one. No kidding like that. You can't joke about that. You can't joke about that. No joke like that. Yes, you can use in different situations. For example, I like no joke like that. I like no kidding like that. Okay. I want to see, no kidding, like that. You can't joke about that. You can't joke about that serious uh, state, serious position. Now, get away means go somewhere to have a holiday. Often because you need to rest, leave, or escape from a person or place. Often when it is difficult to do this, get away. Get away from it all is a complete expression. Get away from it all means have a relaxing holiday. Get away from it all. I got away for a few days. I got away for a few days last month. Means I had I had a vacation. I had a holiday for a few days last month. Okay. Have a holiday. Get get away means have a holiday. Okay. How long did you get away last month? I got away for a week last month. Where did you uh, where did you manage to get away to? Uh, fortunately, we managed to get away to Puerto Rico. Who will go to Samsung? Who will go to Samsung to, to get away from it all next week? Uh, have a relaxing holiday. Yes, uh, the, the Browns family will go to Samsung to get away from it all. Next week. Okay, running to means drive a vehicle into an object or a person in another, in another, in a person in another vehicle by accident. 
meet someone you know, when you are not expecting to, if you run into problems, you begin to experience them. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Meeting, meeting's car ran into Orhan's car. This is the first meaning of it. Yes. Uh, by accident. Okay. Drive uh, a car into an open, into, a, into something or somebody by accident. Metin's car ran into Orhan's car. Did Harun's car ran, uh, run into a person or a tree? Harun's car ran into a tree. What kind of difficulty did you run into yesterday? I ran into uh, a uh, financial problem yesterday. Now, upset as an adjective and word. Angry, yes. Distressed or unhappy or to disturb, to disturb, to offend, to annoy, to upset somebody. To upset versus to be upset. Again, let's remember the passive form. Uh, upset, upset, upset. So to upset uh, versus to be upset, to be upset. To offend versus to be offended, to be annoyed. To annoy, to be annoyed. You can't be upset with or you can't be offended with your friends for more than three days. Yeah, a sentence. Being helpful versus being harmful. There must be a difference between being beneficial and being harmful to others. Yeah, there must be a big difference. They are not the same. Being helpful and being harmful are not the same. We accept that every doctor knows human psychology as well. We accept that every doctor knows human psychology as well. But this is not the case at all. Okay, it is, all, it is also different. Now, there are three sentences here. Let's try to see the difference among them together. Uh, let it not be. Let it not be your assumption, exclamation mark, okay? Let it not be your assumption, supposition. Don't let it be your assumption, two different ways of saying it, okay? Let it not be or don't let it. Don't let it be your assumption. Always stick to the realities, truths, true knowledge. What about this? Isn't that your assumption? Isn't that your question mark? Isn't that your assumption, supposition? Yeah, I think it's not a fact. It's not uh, the true knowledge. It's not an opinion. Isn't that your assumption? Yeah. It may be your assumption. Okay, now take or get some rest and then you start working again. Yeah, these are practical uh, sentences. Just now, take some rest and then you start working again. Okay, thank you very much and see you next time.